Hello, I'm Kristen Strakolaitis with Automotive News. I'm coming to you on location at NADA 2023 in Dallas, Texas with Automotive Manager Ryan Ferrero with Freedom Solar. Thank you so much for joining you us bet. today. You bet. Thank you. Well, I wanted to ask, what would you tell a dealership interested in installing solar panels? Well, it's you got to get the facts. You got to get your analysis first, so you know what the financial argument is. Does it make sense financially? I uh, love helping dealers do that because you don't have to talk about theory and learning the solar industry. You just want to see, okay, what will all the incentives do? How much solar can it put on the roof? How long does it take for itself to pay itself back? So that's the fun part is the analysis. But really at that point, it becomes fun because most dealers end up saying, I had no idea when they realize what the federal incentives are, especially after the Inflation Reduction Act what their states may be doing, what their utility companies may be doing, what their cities may be doing. Project costs get down to a net project cost that are often negative. So I think the biggest aha moment is sometimes we see dealerships installing solar where they're literally getting paid to go solar. The incentives can be that high. It's exciting. Are dealerships very excited about this money saving option? Yeah, I think the reality is, is it first has to lead with, does it make sense with dollars and cents. If my CPA is happy, if you know my, my 20 group can be happy with the decision, then I'm gonna be happy. But shortly thereafter, we find some really interesting second, if, if not tertiary benefits, where my customers are proud of me for doing something that's environmental. I start telling the story in the showroom with a, a kiosk or explaining my greenhouse gas equivalencies and what, it, what this does environmentally. So there becomes some additional benefits that I actually see as conquest sales, especially with women, sustainability tends to translate to trust that maybe you're a little more connected. You're probably doing something better than maybe the knucklehead down the street, you know? Well, that is very important instilling trust in your customers. Now, what has the feedback been from customers so far? Well, I think it's on brand, right? Where the Inflation Reduction Act passed because there's a, this welling up of we got to do something for the environment. So there's that macro culture interest, but it's really EVs too. People are talking about electricity. How do I charge a car at home? How do I charge it on a trip? All of a sudden this electricity conversation also lends itself to how do I or can I generate electricity? Bottom line for dealers that I think is really interesting is we could never drill, refine and sell oil on our lots, but you can generate, store, and sell electricity. It's a brand new revenue stream that's awesome. Would you mind touching a little bit about Freedom Solar goal for 2025? So our goal is to get 2,500 dealerships to install solar by the end of 2025. And the, the, the meat and potatoes behind that is to just get as many dealers as we can their analysis. They don't have to do anything other than scan and send us their, their copies of their utility bills. But what we're finding now is even the big publicly held auto groups, the manufacturers, they're supporting this because at the very least they're getting their dealers empowered to have a go or no go decision if solar makes sense. Is there anything else you would like to tell our viewers? Well, I, I, yeah, one thing, I think solar's inevitable for franchise car dealers. It's inevitable. So those that snooze are probably going to be a little upset because in the subsequent years, prices are going to be going up and up and up as demand starts to outstrip supply, not unlike the car business. So I do like this first mover advantage. We, we have probably 250 plus that I think are, are going to be going this year, and that's going to accelerate over the next two years. So it's a, it's a good time right now. Well, thank you so much. And thank you so much for joining us. Make sure to stay tuned for more NADA coverage.